So this is the first Mean Machines magazine. And as you can see it's got Sega, Mega Drive, GX4000, Nintendo, and this just made me laugh on the front. It says about the Paperboy, he's mad, Moonwalker, he's bad, and about Indy 3, he's brought his dad. <laughs> and it came out in October. £1.79. I don't know what's inside this magazine, there could be nothing of anything, it could, it could be shit. But we'll see. What's that then? Golden Axe is that? The moon looks like it's just one of them pages that shows you what's in there. Random ripped out hole. Wonder why I just ripped that out. It didn't look like a contest or anything. Get your get yourself a hand job. What the hell? US Gold, I forgot all about their existence. Well, I don't think they do exist anymore, do they? I love Indiana Jones, but um, I've never played that last Crusade game, it looks a bit shit, to be honest. It's nearly Super Famicom time. Revenge of Shinobi. I've never actually finished this Shinobi game. To be honest, <laughs> Batman or what? What is that? Power, Powercade? What is that? The only arcade machine for the own. Is that just a monitor in the middle of it there? 16 bit Mega Drive. Or some and then some. Thunder Force 2, Space Eye Rotted Beast, Silent Service. What the hell is that? It's for the NES, apparently. Is that right? It's got an NES icon in the corner. Mutant Madness Impossible Mission It makes me laugh looking at the artwork in these old magazines, it's so crappy What the hell? Well, that really does not look impressive to be honest, just from them screenshots Anyway, it was £30 brand new if you're interested Mega Man 2 with complete um, ripped out page. I was gonna get all the Mega Man games on Virtual Console, but um, and now I've got a NES, I think I'll just buy them on there. I'd like to do that. I've only played Mega Man 9 and 10. Life Force, aka Salamander. Never played this either, but it looks quite a good game. I wouldn't mind playing this. I heard there was going to, I think it's Konami, yeah, Konami who did this, and they was going to do a rebirth version for the virtual console, but I don't think they've got around to it yet. Ch tips, Altered Beast, Hints. <laughs> Look at that, what hard work. Strange. Another random hole. Not sure what that's about either. Wonder Boy 3 30 pound, brand new It's strange because a lot of the games are 30 pounds but then you look at some they're like 45 pounds and things like that Golden Axe I don't know which version of Golden Axe I prefer It's quite a few 35 pound Metroid or the Remy only cost me £29. Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Yeah, I don't think that game interests me. That Last Crusade one, it looks a bit horrible colours and just lame in general. Look at that. Don't, no colour or vibrancy to it. Space Harrier. Oh. <coughs> Top 10 Nintendo. 
Super Mario 2 Legend Zelda Adv of Link Super Mario Bros 2 I've only finished this game once on the um, Mario All Stars edition. What the hell? 40 quid? Easy, I don't think so. I don't think that's an easy Mario game. I can't believe that was for a 40 pound brand new that game. Paperboy. Not what, not a game I particularly enjoy, to be honest. The people just drive out the, the drives and run you over. Like, you wouldn't get arrested for that. What the fuck? Gauntlet. That's not like the gauntlet I played on Xbox, I must say. I think it's actually meant to be part of the same franchise, though. Looks a bit shit, to be honest. That's £30 anyway, if you're interested. Turtles. What the? That's the most bizarrest page I've ever seen. Why did he rip that one up like that? God knows. Anyway, Turtles is only 35 quid. Bionic Commando. Another ripped out page, Summer Games. God, I can't believe all these shit sports games. Moonwalker, eh? How can you not like that bit where he's dancing on that piano? Ghoul, what's that one? Ghouls and Ghosts. I'm sure they're like some of the hardest games ever. I'd love to try and finish one now. Oh my god! Ghouls and Ghosts, 45 quid. Can't believe that. 45 quid. Most, even new games nowadays aren't even that much usually. Probably a few pounds less. Double Dragon. Mm -mm. Another £35 game. People say though that gaming nowadays is expensive, but if you look at some of these games, it's like £35 for a game that you can finish in 15 minutes. At least you can't finish most of the games nowadays in, fi in 15 minutes. Thunder Force 2, I've never played that. But I have played um, Thunder Force 3. That was actually the first game I ever played myself. I don't think there's much else in here, is there? Never heard of that, if I'm honest. Skate or Die. A lot of people rave about that game, but it's not my kind of thing. Some crap GP game, and that looks like about it. So yeah, that's the end of that um, magazine.